Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell me about what your mindset has been, you know, since the, the phone call you received on that Friday uh, through the whole, you know, the month leading up to the draft, the, the selection of Trey, what, what have you tried to really focus in on, uh, as you prepare for this season? Yeah. Uh, you know, I just focus on the same things I always have really. I mean, it's the off season is a time for me to grow, for our team to grow. And just, uh, you try to improve on the things that you didn't do so well the year before. So, I mean, this off season, I had a list of things that I wanted to improve on. First of all, get the, get the body back right, healthy and everything. And, that uh, it's been going really well. Body feels great. And just, um, you know, there's some little things throughout the offense that we've been trying to work on. And I've been trying to critique myself as hard as I can, you know, just fix the little things. Jimmy, can you, can you share with us a little more what you've been doing basically the last five months to get your body in shape? Um, where you've been doing it? And uh, maybe anything specific what you've actually been working on? Before. Yeah, just, um, well, I think, Getting the ankle right, uh, doing mobility, things like that, trying to keep the muscles pliable and staying hydrated, all that stuff applies. But I think um, really it's just getting the fundamentals down and just playing within the offense. You know, when I play within the offense, things things are good and things go well and I stay healthy. So that's uh, that was a big part of the offseason. Uh, hi, Jimmy. Was the goal to add some muscle this offseason and, and, and did you bulk up a bit? <laughs> I was trying to, yeah. Uh, nothing crazy, but um, just trying to, you know, like I said before, it was just another thing that I was trying to do this off season, just stay healthy this year, and just um, put my best, myself in the best situation possible to be successful. Jimmy, when, when we first talked to Kyle after the trade was made, uh, he said he called you and that you were understandably pissed that you that you weren't thrilled about it. Can you can you take us back to what your emotions were like? Was there ever a time where you considered? asking for a trade or, or anything like that in the ensuing time after that? Uh, yeah, there, I mean, when it initially happened, there's a million emotions that go on throughout your head, and you think of all the possible scenarios and things like that. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, at the end of the day, I want to play football. I want to go out there and win games. That's what I do. And so, um, you know, it wasn't anything too crazy. It took a little while to get, to get you know, process everything. But, you know, once I did, it was just go out there and ball. Uh, you know, you just got to attack it. NFL is a crazy business. Things happen, but you just got to attack it day by day and, you know, make the best of it. Jimmy, how, how would you describe your, uh, the dynamic between you and, and Trey? And obviously the shoe was on the other foot when you were in New England. And is that a situation that, that you think about sometimes <clears throat> when, when uh, you look forward and how you're going to approach these, uh, this next year or two? Yeah, uh, you know, me and Trey, Trey's real cool. We've, we've had a great relationship so far. All the QBs, I mean, we've got a big QB room right now. So it's, uh, it's a good group of guys, fun to be around. But, um, you know, it's just, it's kind of one of those things, I don't want to do anything out of the ordinary, do something that's not me. So I just, uh, you know, I try to treat it just like I normally would with anyone else. So just go about my business, uh, just be myself and, you know, let the cards fall as they may, or chips fall as they may. Jimmy, so I don't want to beat this to death, but uh, I mean, just sp spelling this out, you know, they, they have drafted a guy they want to replace you probably sooner rather than later, given their investment. They've talked about, you know, that they, they've looked into trading you. I mean, I assume, how could you not have hard feelings and how do you reconcile that with like, I'm still here and, and maybe if I, you know, play my very best, uh, they won't be able to, you know, do what they want to do. Well, I mean, there's a, if you start thinking about all those things, especially as a quarterback, I mean, you're going to be in tr some trouble. I got enough things to worry about just with the offense and things like that, uh, trying to improve things here and there. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're here playing football. And so that's what I love to do. I love to go out there, be with the guys, win football games. I mean, that's what I do. And so it's, um, it's one of those things that <clears throat> the situation is what it is. It's not, it's not changing. So you just try to make the best of it. And, uh, the way I do that, I attack each day and, you know, just try to put my best foot forward. I mean, maybe a slightly uh, awkward question given all the understandable previous questions, but what do you think of Trey? I mean, like as a guy, as a quarterback, being around him, uh, what's he been like and, and what are your impressions of him? 
Uh, Trey's been cool. He has uh, the whole QB room. I mean, it really—it's it's a good group of guys. We got—we're pretty deep this year. Brought Skangs back as the QB coach. Happy to see him again. So it's a—it's a great group we got in there. We're a tight group. Uh, everyone's been competing so far. It's—it's it's been a lot of fun. Jimmy, Trey shared with everybody that you were one of the first people to reach out to him after he was drafted. Why was that important for you to do? Uh, I mean, for a number of reasons. I think, one, just when you get drafted, I, I went through the whole process of being there. and it's a, unique, it's a unique experience and just a crazy night. You know, all the emotions. I mean, you've worked so hard to get to that point, and, and now you're there getting drafted. So I just wanted to, you know, tell him congratulations. You know, you worked hard to get here and everything, and, you know, just start off on the right foot. I mean, it's a... Uh, not every day you get drafted to the NFL, so I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, Jimmy, two questions. First, how's your ankle? Is it 100% healthy? And two, I noticed you weren't wearing a knee brace. Are you done with that, or are you going to wear that during games? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, ankle fit. No, you're, I'm just kidding. Ankle feels great. Uh, that really hasn't been a bother since, I don't know, I can't remember when. But, yeah, the knee brace, though, uh, that's just kind of one of those things – going to come and go uh, I don't mean to keep throwing you guys off with that <laughs> but um yeah that's about it <laughs> hey Jimmy how much is of a relief is it to have some sort of sense of normalcy after not a normal lot off season not a normal season to just be back out there with OTAs oh uh, it's, it's been awesome it really has just <clears throat> getting back into a rhythm with the guys seeing everyone here you know I was thrilled to see all the guys come back and you know, we've been putting in some good work and it's, it's just different. I don't know, last year with the whole quarantine and, you know, the whole everything that happened last year, it was just, it was a tough off season. So it's nice to get back to a little bit of normalcy, like you said, and just be around the guys again. Just wondering with your experience in New England, are there things you'll take away from that experience and you bring this situation here that you liked what happened and maybe didn't like so you don't repeat those mistakes or you use that to, to kind of further the relationship with Trey? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. To be honest, I haven't put that much thought into it. It's, you know, the relationship between me and Trey, I think it'll just happen naturally. It's not something that you want to force too much. You don't want to, I don't know, make it fake. It's just... uh Things will happen, and that, that stuff takes time, but I think it's one of those situations where you don't want to go out of your normalcy and do something that's not you. And So I just let things happen and, you know, take it from there. We'll do two more, please. Jimmy, you've been um, critiqued quite a bit over the last few months, and, and the main <laughs> critique always seems to be he has trouble staying healthy, which – doesn't seem like something you always have control over. I'm just wondering how you react to that, and you know, do you do you bristle when you when you hear that or read that? Um, you know, what's what's your reaction? Uh, no, I, I don't know. You, being in the NFL for as long as I have, you kind of get used to it, I guess you could say. Um, kind of comes with the job, but it's um it's one of those things that keeps pushing you though. When you hear those critiques and you hear those uh those little things out there it pushes you to take your game to the next level. You know, it's uh, we're all competitors out there. We all want to go put in the perfect game. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. So I'm going to keep pushing myself. Jimmy, did, um, I guess over these last couple of months, have you heard from other quarterbacks that have kind of been in a similar situation as you? As, as a high draft pick coming in, maybe it's – whether it's Brady or Drew Brees, Alex Smith, even Steve Young, what it was like then. Has anybody reached out? Has you got advice from any, any other QBs? I, I kind of missed half your question there, Cam, but uh, it's okay. I, no, no, no one, uh, haven't really reached out to anyone. And it's kind of like I was saying before, I, I don't want to make it a weird relationship between me and Trey. I don't want to do something that's not me. I just want it to happen naturally. And it, it has been. I mean, Trey's, Trey's a cool dude. Uh, we've hung out a couple times and it's just, um, you know, it's one of those relationships that it'll, it'll come over time and it just, it just takes a little time.